I'm uh, Sriharsha Tota. I head retail business at Medibody. We have three business units. Uh, as I told, I head retail uh, and we divide business units based on payer. So if user is paying from pocket, we call it retail business. And if corporate is sponsoring, it goes into corporate. And if insurance is taking the service, it goes into the insurance uh, part, right? So uh, I, I mean, uh, uh, we started scaling retail almost one, one and a half year back. Before that, we were primarily focused on corporate. Uh, so the whole product was built uh, accordingly. So corporates used to sponsor their uh, health check and other benefits to the employee and employees can come to the platform and book it. So whole product was built like that. So when we saw during the second wave, a lot of demand from retail customers or uh, otherwise corporate customers also, a uh, couple of problems we had identified are um, the booking flow or the experience while the user is booking is not so great. Like there are a lot of opportunities of improvement. We sat together as a team, uh, operations team, product team, tech team and uh, business team, all of us uh, sat together and identified the problems. My name is Deepak. I'm currently working as a tech lead at Medibuddy. The inventory was also duplicated, okay? So there were lots of duplicate tests were existing. So if you are searched for, a, let's say, one test, you're, you're getting 10 uh, same mapping of the same test. So users were getting confused. So we sorted the inventory as first sort, okay? Then we built the feature like uh, search and all those things. There were a couple of other issues as well. For example, if you're an insurance customer, right? You're co coming for, as a corporate customer. And if you want to book a retail lab test along with your corporate package, you're not able to do that previously. Apart from that, let's say if you are having a prescription, right? And you don't know what is the right test suggested for you, you can upload that prescription and get your lab test done. So all these problems we have solved in the lab, lab revamp flow. So basically it took around one month for us. Uh, and I was working with a team of five. And we use like cutting edge technologies like Elasticsearch to improve our search, right? Uh, Node.js and a queue driven, event driven model, okay, in the tech. So, so that it, the experience is very smooth in terms of tech. The major problem is to picking a right technology or right tech stack for building such solutions, okay? So there are multiple ways in market to solve a problem, okay? But picking the right one is very crucial job, okay? Because everything depends on that. So we did a very good research in the, uh, we read multiple blogs here and there with big, big companies and organizations. And we we found some event driven kind of mechanism and we built the entire system on that kind of model where like everything is event driven so if you do something then the next thing will happen that kind of model so we use uh, multiple like kafka queue okay to communicate between two of our microservices to give you more idea about elastic search right so elastic search help us to basically make our search very efficient Okay, it can basically provide you features of auto-suggest, auto-correct. Like if you type something on Google, right, you'll get some auto-suggestion. And you'll get the auto-corrected if you do any spelling mistakes and all this. So all these features we have introduced in our lab search engine to improve our search uh, very like in a good manner. So we are working on a merge flow, which is an extension of this lab's revamp flow. So where we are, there, there are three to four flows in labs currently, okay? So users are getting confused here and there, okay? Because there are multiple flows. So to provide a unified experience on the platform, we are merging all those flows together and having a like end-to-end -end streamlined flow for labs. So that is, that is what I'm currently working on. Um, similarly, we'll, we'll keep on adding more and more uh, features which will help peop, uh, people discover more and we'll also move towards, uh, I mean, innovate on the fulfillment side as well and full, uh, a pickup side as well. So let's say today uh, you can book a slot for tomorrow. We want to ideally move towards a real-time pickup kind of uh, thing, right? Like today, you, I mean, uh, you get food after you order, uh, I mean, within half an hour, one hour. Similarly, why can't you get your lab test done? So yeah, we'll innovate on it. We'll, we'll uh, uh, build things for the customers. We'll keep on identifying the pain points and keep on solving for it. We are impacting a lot, millions of lives and also make helping them live a healthy life and better life. Uh, and uh, yeah, that gives immense uh, satisfaction at the end of the day. And second, the kind of problems we are tackling and uh, the way we tackle it, right? We, uh, uh, all the teams coming together, the teamwork that comes and uh, the ownership that everyone takes to solve those problems and the ownership that we get here, right? Like, uh, it's not that, uh, I mean, because you know, someone is saying something, we need to do it. We finally work for the customer, be it, be it our founders, be it our leadership, be it uh, any employees. We know that finally the customer is the guy whom we need to solve for it. Yeah, so as an engineer, I'll uh, try basically love to solve problems, okay? And the problems, uh, there are lots of problems to be solved in healthcare sector, okay? So uh, as an engineer, I'm somehow able to basically contribute to the society by solving the burning problems in domain of healthcare. So that is what motivates me a lot to work here.